Well, we are getting closer and closer to the GTA 6 announcement. Today, we're going to be going over so many new actors and actresses that accidentally put GTA 6 on their resume. And I'm going to explain why this is a very big deal and why it looks like the game is in the final stages of production. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in. Now, this did all start sometime last year, actually before the major leaks, I believe. This actress, and I, I don't necessarily want to show their names or whatever, just because I don't think, like, obviously they're not supposed to, like, leak this sort of stuff. But on this particular person's resume, they had a voiceover part in a game for Rockstar Games. Their character is called Tamara. And the game, the, the title is Fireball Video Game. That's obviously a code name of some sort. And it's pretty easy to detect that Fireball. This is the Miami Heat's logo. That's a ball on fire. That is a Fireball. We know GTA 6 is in Vice City. Thus, this Fireball Video Game, it's GTA 6. Like, that's just, it's what it is. It's GTA 6. So, we did know about this about a year ago, but... Recently, so many new people have actually put this on their resume. So let's go ahead and hop through and take a look at them. The first one is this particular person. This is actually, I'll show this guy's name, even though I don't necessarily uh, want to get these people in trouble. But this particular person is actually in the leaked videos, which is why I just, I wanted to show it. Apparently this is the DJ in the nightclub or the strip club scene that is sort of escorting you through the club. You can see he also on his resume put Fireball, real title TBD, the supporting character, Rockstar Games. It does continue, there's many more of these. Some of them have the Fireball, some of them don't, which is also a little weird. This particular person just has Rockstar Games Project face model. We have this particular person undisclosed project slash new media. They're a principal character, whatever that means for Rockstar Games. Here we have another person, Rockstar Games, supporting slash motion capture, uh, Take Two Productions. Have another one, Rockstar Games, mo motion capture, Take Two Entertainment. This particular person just has NDA projects, uh, Rockstar Games. This particular person has a facial scan talent. So they scanned her face and I guess she'll be a character in the game. Here's another one, Untitled Mocap Project, Motion Capture, Take Two Games. Now that one necessarily doesn't need to be Rockstar because it's not mentioned here, but I don't think there's many Take Two Games that are untitled that are like in the motion capture process right now. So we're going to assume that is GTA 6. Here's another person. This person's kind of smart. Uh, I just threw this in here. NDA, NDA, NDA. Now this guy has actually worked on RDR 2. So it, there's reason to believe that this whole NDA stuff is just GTA 6. But yeah, another person potentially. And then we have some people, they might have just got it wrong uh, because I looked it up. There's no like Firestorm with Rockstar Games and then Street Hustler. I don't know what that could be. I, I'm assuming that's just supposed to be Fireball. And again, GTA 6, this guy is going to be a Street Hustler in the game. Here we have another person, Untitled Mocap Project, Motion Capture, Take 2. This particular person, Firestorm, again, female voices. Then we have this one, which is another weird one, Sao Paulo Knights. I don't know. It does say commercial, so maybe this is like one of the in-game things. I don't know. Uh, and then the, the final one, I believe, is actually a real interesting one because it's in the VR category, but this guy had undisclosed Rockstar Games. He's a principal character, Rockstar Games in the VR category. So we do, I believe, know it was leaked sometime last year that San Andreas is allegedly getting a VR game. Now, why they'd be hiring new actors for San Andreas, I don't know, but it does look like that San Andreas VR game is in fact coming out. I guess we just don't know if it's coming out before GTA 6 or after, or maybe it's just gonna be like a pre-order bonus. So all total, that is 15 people that have now put GTA 6 uh, basically on their resume. I'm assuming, you know, once this gets out, they'll probably end up taking it off because again, they're not supposed to do this. That's happened multiple times in the past where an actor accidentally puts it on there thinking nothing of it. And then Rockstar probably is like, hey, take that off. We don't want people knowing. 
even though, I mean, everyone knows about GTA 6 nowadays anyway, but the reason this is good news is because if all these new people, more than likely smaller parts in the game are getting this stuff done in their resume, that means they're in the final-ish stages of the game. If they're doing motion capture, they're getting all the extra people, like all the NPCs and stuff voiced, that means the majority of the game is probably done. So that 2024 release date of next year, I mean, it's looking better and better. It's looking more realistic as we get more information. So this is pretty good news. Unfortunately, I mean, it might take a while before the actual actors of Jason and Lucia leak. I know there's been a bunch of speculation. I've made a video about a month or two ago on it, but it's still not 100% confirmed whether, you know, a certain person is or isn't the actual character. Hopefully, you know, if we're getting all these little minor leaks for the game, hopefully maybe like some bigger leaks come out soon, but it is pretty exciting. GTA 6 is looking closer and closer. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.